Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, all about YouTube. Today I'll be doing a walkthrough of Taya Sweetie sketches as promised. So, without further ado, let's get started. The app that I'm on right now is actually called Procreate. Yes, I had to write it. <laughs> Now I'm going to go to Tyus V Sketches. When you first open up Tyus V Sketches, you see this, which is basically the intro for the app. Then you will see a folder, and you will tap on the plus sign that has a canvas on it. And you're gonna go to the brush, uh, brush, not brush, pencil. I don't even know how to write pencil. pencil. Right there. And now you can play around with the opacity and size of the brush. And the size. Opacity. You can lower the opacity and you can put it on full. And here is an the undo button. You can tap it a few times to undo everything that you just did. And there is also a redo button. Which you can redo. Okay. Now that we know that this one is the pencil, now we can move on to going to the pen. This is the pen, right here. I'd like to use this pen for coloring because it's way easier. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right there. And now, right? Pen. You can play around with the size and opacity of this. size can go pretty low like this and the opacity can go pretty low that you can't even see it. okay now to just undo and now we can move on to the felt pen the felt pen is the third one in this row the felt pen is kind of like the um, pen but if you lower the opacity, then the marker overlays the other streak. Like this. And you can play around with the size and opacity. I actually used to use this brush a lot. And play around with the opacity just like last time and size. Now, this one here is the oil brush. I think. <laughs> Let's just check. Sketches tools. So the first one is the pencil, like we did before. Then the pen. Then the felt pen. Oh, it's actually called the paint pen right here. And this is actually a pastel we were using. And then there's acrylic paint. And then there's watercolor, airbrush, shapes, contour tool, fill tool, smudge, and cut. There's also ruler and import photo. Now let's go back to our folder. So this is the and I forgot again. 
<laughs> oh, this is the pastel. This can be good for... Oh, what is this dry ink? Okay. Now we can move on to acrylic paint. I don't use this brush normally, but it is a very good brush. If you were to draw like the nighttime scenery, this would work good. Okay, now moving on to the watercolor. It works just like a watercolor brush. And now we have the airbrush. This works like spray paint. Play around with the size and opacity. And size. Okay. Now, we have this, I like to call calligraphy pen. I like to use this when doing most of my writing. And this is also a very good pen to outline. And now we have the contour tool. We just filled in with the paint bucket. And now we can just undo that. And now we have a brush. And we also have a contour tool. So basically anything you draw, it can be filled in. And now we have the eraser, of course. Eraser. Pretty much just like an eraser. But it erases it fully. You can play around with the opacity with this one too and the size. The opacity level of the eraser will be good when tracing pictures. So you can put opacity as low and then you can lower the opacity of the picture and you can trace it. Now this one is the smudge tool. It will blend. So over here, let's draw or write something. And you can just blur it out. Very fun. And there is size and opacity of this too. And now there, there's a cut tool. So you can just trace something, press undo, and then it will copy it. Just like that. Or if you want to remove something, you can just do it like that without pressing undo. But if you want to just want to copy it, then you can press undo. And then comes the ruler. Okay, ruler. Now you can put it in Zen mode. That way the drawing tools won't come in your way of when you are drawing. It works very good when making straight lines or making a chart or maybe drawing a present. It helps with angles too. Now we can just undo all of that. Okay, and go back. Just press the Zen mode sign again. 
to go back to what we were doing first. And then we're just undo. And to go back to the actual screen size, just pinch like this. To go to gallery, you gotta pinch out like this. Now let's draw something. Okay, I'm finished my rough sketch and now I will use the tools to fill in what I need to cut. So, for the hair, I'm going to use pen. I'm going to do black for the hair because that's the color of my hair. This won't really take a long time to do. And yeah, I'm happy with the way it looks. And now for the shirt, I'm going to use the fill tool. Here is the color section where you can choose any color. And if you go to Zen mode, you can make your own color right here. You can also do that by holding on, like long pressing the square on the bottom. I'm going to choose green for the shirt. Now we go to this little tool here. Click on the paint tool. And just tap on the shirt. It will leave some lines. And it's okay because we can just outline again. Now we're going to fill in the color for the skin color. I like to use mostly an orange color. I have no idea why. We can just write her name on that. And that's it for the tutorial today. Comment down below if you want me to do a tutorial of Procreate. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.